What's up everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna make this really cool customizable tray. You can change the looks of it, you can batch it out, and best yet, you can do it all in one day. So let's start off with milling up some lumber. I got all my work pieces made, so now we can make this into a tray. Now I want to have some cool shapes to this tray, so I could just take it and draw out my shape and then go over to the bandsaw and cut it out. But I like to have a template because maybe in the future I want to make another tray and, you know, already have the template made. Now I did have a lot of people reach out to me and say, you know what? You don't use your CNC enough, so let's make a template on the CNC. I got my templates made, so now I'm gonna take this, put it on my workpiece, and then I can trace it out, and then take this over to the bandsaw and cut just outside of my line. And then once I remove that waste, then I can take this, go over to the router table, and then use a flush trim bit to remove all the waste. Then we'll have perfect piece. I wanna keep the joinery pretty simple on this. I'm gonna go with a simple box joint. So I'm over here at the table saw, cause that's how I like to do mine. I've got a flat tooth blade and my saw. Now I do have a video devoted just to how to make this joint. So I'll drop a link down in the description so you can check that out. In order to get our tray done in a reasonable amount of time, I went ahead and made up a tray bottom before I did the joinery. So I did some milling, cut these down, glued this panel together, and while that was drying, I went ahead and cut the box joints for the tray. So after that's done, this was dry enough to take out of the clamps and sand down. So now we're good to go. Now this is where you can customize this because I'm gonna use this cool walnut bottom, but you don't have to. So you could use any wood you want to. You could use plywood if you want to, because the plan is to ultimately be able to put different types of tiles in here. So you're not gonna see the bottom, unless you wanna take the tile out and see the bottom. There comes with the customization. So if you used plywood, you wouldn't have to even do this step and that's gonna save you even more time. At this point, I need to cut a groove, a channel, on the inside face so I can get this into there and then we'll glue the thing up. I'm using tight bond three for this glue up because it gives me a little bit of extra open time so I don't have to rush too much. All right, let's make sure it's square. Looks good. Let's let it dry and then we'll do some sanding. 
Did you know that I have a Patreon called the Superhero Community? It's got a wonderful group of people who are really helping me out to be able to make more videos here on YouTube. We have superheroes over there like Jeffrey Atkinson and Daniel Ball who are instrumental in helping out this channel. So if you're interested in signing up, getting some sneak peeks behind the scenes, extra content, then head on over to patreon.com slash newtonmakes and check it out. I think this project's just about done, but there's still a little bit of daylight left and I think I got time to squeeze out one more thing before we call this project finished. It's time for us to apply finish to this project. And again, this comes down to that customization. If you really want this project done, completely dry, be able to put it on the shelf in a day, then I would go with a lacquer or a shellac, something that dries super fast. Instead, I don't really have to worry about that. I'm gonna go with a hard wax finish instead and apply a couple coats, let it dry, not a big deal. So just pick the finish that works best for you. I love projects like this. Customizable, I used a piece of marble, but you could easily put in another piece of stone or tile and completely change the look of this. And this is great for batching out. You can make several of these all at the same time, especially if you made a template using different types of stone and be able to give them out as presents or sell them or whatever works best for you. And I think what I love best about it is it's a one day build. So not all of us have the luxury of being able to spend days upon days in the shop. You can get in the shop, spend a full day, but also walk out with an awesome piece. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.